Let's check out. This coffee mug. Bloom where you're planted. One house plant away from crazy. Oh my god, I love it! I love it! Trustability grow. Oh my god, this is such cute stuff. Okay, so you just saw some footage from the Dollar General. I had to run in there for home needs, toilet paper, stuff like that. Came out with more than just that. <laughs> First of all, this mug, y'all. <laughs> One house plant away from crazy. Oh my God, I love it. And it looks like a terracotta pot. The only thing that would have made this better, of course, if it was, you know, double-sided. This was on this side, too. But it's, like, engraved in there. And it feels like a terracotta pot, too. So cute. So cute. And then I got one of these. I always wanted one of these. They're, like, the little misters for your um, houseplants, which I have a ton of. And I always wanted one of these, like, old-fashioned looking ones. How cute to keep your plants moist. So I picked that up. This was $3. I didn't even see how much the mug was. The mug was $3. Um, I picked up a new bird feeder because our bird feeder over the winter, yeah, is like no good. So I picked up a new bird feeder. This was $6. I love birds. I love watching birds. And if I hang it right in front of where I always hang it, which is like, Oh, sorry. Right in front of my um, big sliding glass windows, I can watch the birds, which I adore. So I got this set. I think this is absolutely adorable. Look, it says home is where you want to be with the sun, but with a house plant. So stinking pretty. This one home is where my plants are look at the plants up top on a shelf oh my god i love it and then the last one is plants make me happy look how cute oh my god i love this then i got the pot holders which this doesn't have a saying but it's like got that teal color how pretty and then this one is home is where my plants are what an adorable plant set I could have bought everything from that set but I resisted and then the last little fun thing that I'll show you is I did pick up bird seed I picked up bird seed for the bird feeder so once I get the bird feeder hung up and everything I'll show that to you but I just had to show you this adorable little set. So when Easter is over, because right now I have all of my Easter um, kitchen towels, decorative kitchen towels up. So when Easter is over, this will be my spring to summer um, set. This, these are so cute. I love the colors. I love the sayings. They're just adorable. Home is where my plants are. Oh my god. My husband will probably be like, Home is where your family is. <laughs> it's like, are you jealous of my plants? So cute. Plants make me happy. Oh my god. 
and these were only a dollar so i thought that was very 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 rare very reasonable all right so that is my little dollar general haul i'm getting ready to leave here in a few minutes to go pick up my first client of the day for work I had errands run this morning I did them all. Oh, I had a lot of errands. My my sister and brother-in-law went away, so we had to feed their kitty cats. I had to go to the bank. I had to go to Dollar General to get toiletries and all that stuff. Got a little extras. <laughs> I took my daughter out for breakfast so that she could have a little mama time. I just took her home, and now I'm on my way to pick up my first client of the day. And it feels like it's going to be a pretty nice spring day. It's a little windy, but um, it feels like it's going to be a pretty spring day. So let's go get the day started. Look how fire my uh, towels look on my stove. I just love it. I love them, love them, love them. They're so stinking cute. And you know me, if you've been an OG, I love my house plants. Ah, oh, so cute for spring love it i want to show you the bird feeder the reason why i did what i did so the bucket the soil the flowers and the metal it's supposed to be like um hanging plant stand that all came from the dollar tree and then i just hung the bird feeder off of it and put it right here so that i could sit either in my recliner or my couch and be able to watch the birds. And I let the sheer curtains here so that the birds couldn't see me. So maybe they'll still come, but I can pull back the curtain for you guys to get a better look. But that's what I did. I just bought a bucket, filled it with soil, put fake plants in it, put one of the plant hanger poles in there and I hung the bird feeder off of it so that I could watch the birds when I sit in the living room and I figure with the sheer curtain they won't be able to see me so they should be able to they should still come I guess is the point that I'm trying to make so I'm excited about that now we just need a warm day to sit out there guard doggo is always on post watching do you love all the nose prints on my door? Look, clean. Look at that, nose print smear, clean. <laughs> Can you tell where Dozer stands to watch and be on post with his goat nose smear all over my window? And you know, as soon as I wipe that off, it's all back. And I often think to myself, how does he even see out of that? Because it's all smeared. But, you know, what are you going to do? That's his little mark on the house. Right, Dozier? Right? Is that your little mark? <laughs> Hello. Eating my apple. Thought I'd just pop in. We have had nothing but rain. Four, four, four or five days. Four or five days. <laughs> and not just like a little rain. And I don't think we're the only ones. Like I think this has been like a, a big thing all over the United States. We've had so much flooding. But the only thing with all this rain is that it has caused everything that could possibly bloom to bloom and everything is looking really pretty so the clouds are still rolling away there are still huge puddles everywhere but it is starting to look really like spring so i'm sitting in the parking lot i think you guys can see look everything's turning green i'm sitting in the parking lot with my first client she's at the dentist today she's having teeth extractions so um after I eat my apple, if she's not out, I don't think she's going to be, I think she's going to be here for a few hours. I'm going to walk, I think you guys can see, see this little parking lot right here. 
I'm gonna walk this parking lot. I have been trying really, really hard to overcome, um, I don't know what to, I don't know how to, binge eating, I guess, binge eating. Um, I found myself the past, like, week. I didn't realize I was even doing it. I haven't binged in a long time. But I realized, like, um, because I think I'm not eating, like, when I normally eat, like, you know, before I started working at home, I was very scheduled, very routine. You know, you get up, you eat breakfast, then, you know, around noon, you eat lunch. And then I always had dinner, you know, if I wanted a snack or whatever. But now that my schedule is, like, like yesterday, I had a super long day, and I only ate really one meal yesterday. And I way over ate that. So I really feel like I binged that. And I think that 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 those thought processes of like this might be the only meal I get today because I have this 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 and this and I know I'm not going to be home like yesterday I didn't get home until nine nine o'clock at night and so forth and so on like I found myself like binging like I I'll be I had Popeyes and I ate more than I should have I binged it really and truly and um I'm learning. <laughs> I'm learning how easy it is to slip into old bad habits because of thought processes and things. So I've made a promise to myself that I'm going to try to get off sugar because I have to tell you, I hurt so bad. And the rain that we just had and all that made that amplified by a thousand. I just hurt like my knees hurt and my my lower back hurt and I know it's because I gained weight since I moved here to New Jersey and um, I'm not moving as much not nearly like I was when I lived in Pennsylvania like there was no ifs ands or buts about it I was walking every day in miles I don't even think I could walk a mile if you paid me a million dollars which is terrible how do you in less than two years I went from walking five day, five miles faithfully, almost daily, to two years later being probably not even able. Like, this parking lot's going to do me in. This little roundabout parking lot. I mean, there's more over there that you can't see, but this will probably be all I can do. Like, how, how does that happen in two years? I just want to kick myself in the butt. But we're not going to stay focused on all the negative. We're going to stay focused on the positive and the habits that I'm trying to break. And I just know, like, I'm addicted to food and I really think I'm addicted to sugar. And I can just tell that my body is full of inflammation. And the inflammation is what is causing my knees and my back and my hips to hurt. So I have made a promise to myself, except for... You know, like fruit, like this process is in the body different. Like natural sugars, like from fruits and maybe some vegetables. I think carrots have high f sugar content. I'm not sure. Except for that kind of stuff, I'm not going to eat processed sugar. You know what I mean? So I'm really, really trying to get off the sugar and I'm really trying to move my body more. And I'm trying very hard to watch my portions and how small I mean how often how often I eat not how small how often I eat so I don't know if anybody cares I'm just rambling and ranting but this is where I'm at in my mind and when I sit in the car for some not all most most of my clients I assist but some don't want assistance they just basically just need a ride um it's usually the men <laughs> I get it though I get it um I have no idea what I was going to say. I have a lot of time to think. <laughs> and having a lot of time to think, you're just like, I got to do better. I got to do better. You know, and it's so easy to sit in your car and be like, I got to do better. I got to get off sugar. I need to eat smaller portions. And for shizzle, I need to move more. It's so easy to say those things. It's so hard to do it. But you just got to start somewhere and just not stop. And I'm praying to God and asking him 
that he would just be strong when I'm weak and that I would just start and not stop. Just start and not stop. I just have to put, I just have to take that one step. Just put that one foot forward and get momentum and just not stop. I think that's the hardest part is just starting. So today I'm trying very hard. Yesterday because it was raining, I did an at-home workout. But then I binged on Popeye's. Today, I brought my apple and my water and I'm going to walk this parking lot. And this morning before I left, I only had coffee and my coffee had a protein drink in it. So I had protein coffee, no sugar. So today is the day that I am going to try to do what I know I need to do. I made my favorite Weight Watchers muffins. But I got a new happy planner for my work. Look how cute. If you guys are interested in seeing a couple of my happy planner how I put together my happy planner spreads. This is for next week for the solar eclipse. Let me know down in the comments and I would love to do a quick little happy planner video for you guys. But I love it. I used to do happy planner all the time. I'm getting back into it because I, I miss it. I miss planning. I miss playing with stickers and being creative this way. So let me know down in the comments. And by the way, these Weight Watchers muffins that are just oats, peanut butter, raisins, honey, and cinnamon, and two bananas. So good. So, so good. Good morning. So, it is Saturday morning. And I thought I'd pop on here real quick before my family gets crazy. And just spill the tea. Spill the tea about the earthquake. I appreciate some of you lovies um, texting me to check on me to see if I'm okay. Oh, that makes me feel so special. We're fine. <laughs> um, it was a little scary. I was sitting right here at my desk working on um, my food addiction book here. I've shared this with you guys in another um, video. This is the program book, if you will, that I'm trying to work through. I'm really trying to work on me, guys. But anyways, I was sitting here working on that and we have had, I actually have been on live streams with you guys when people who own the complex, people who own the apartment complex have put up a ladder and jumped on the roof. That's what I thought it was for the first two seconds because most of the noise was coming from the roof. Then it's the most unnatural, weird feeling. Then I felt it in my feet. And then the whole apartment started rocking back and forth. All my pictures were moving. These bulbs that are hanging behind me, which by the way, people have asked me what those are. I will take you over and show you close-ups of what those are. Those are actually um, succulents that are in those little bulbs there. Those were swaying, all my plants were swaying, my dog went nuts. Within seconds, all, not all, I'm not gonna say all, that's an exaggeration, but there was car alarms going off outside and all of my neighbors, all on this side and a couple on the other side, all ran outside. Cause immediately I got up from my desk. That is the most weirdest feeling because everything is moving around you, but you're standing still. The only way that I can describe how it feels is if you've ever been on a boat for a really long time and then you get off the boat and you know how like you're like, pe like people will joke and say you need to get your sea legs and stuff like that. You know, when you get off the boat and like you get on dry land, this used to happen to me all the time as a kid because I grew up on the Jersey shore and my grandparents had a boat. We would get off the boat at the end of the day and like I would go into the shower to shower off all the salt water. And while I was standing in the shower, I actually was swaying. And you realize you're swaying because you're, it's like the movement of the water has to get out of your body or something like that. It's the only thing I can think to describe it is like, it's just a really weird sensation. 
but we are okay. Everything's fine. Um, there was no damage. Our roof looks okay, but I have to tell you, um, that was the part that really scared me, that really scared my daughter. She came flying out of the room. Um, the roof is the part that made the most noise. We could hear the rumble in the ground, but we are on the second floor, so the rumble in the ground wasn't real loud. But the roof shifting above us, I mean, it really sounded like the roof was going to kind of like come in. That was the scary part. That that was scary. <laughs> that was scary. The the sounds were scary and that weird, just weird feeling of the ground moving and you're standing still. And yes, my phone did not work. My phone did not work after. I know people have asked me about that. My daughters and I phone both did not work. It's probably because of the, the they were saying because of the cell towers, because they moved. Um, we could not make phone calls out. We could text, but our phones, neither one of our phones could make phone calls out for at least like 15 minutes. I couldn't make a phone call and then they worked fine. So it was a little weird, you know, Jersey doesn't normally get earthquakes. This is a little odd. Another thing too, I know a lot of people are saying is, is I'm sure you all know and have seen by now, this video will be out Sunday. This is Saturday morning, the day after the earthquake, um, that it was a 4.8 and the eclipse is happening on 4.8. <laughs> so a lot of people are like, that's a little weird. I have to agree. It's a little weird. It's a little weird. And um, if I can get a picture, I will insert it right here. Yes, all very weird things. And if you've ever been on my live stream, my Word Wednesday live streams, we've talked about things like this. Um, if you're just joining my channel or you don't join my live stream, um, I am a Christian. So I do know that the Bible says that we are to be looking to the skies for signs of the times. I know many people are out there on the internet saying that... Um, you know, Monday, the day of the eclipse is like doomsday and Jesus is coming back and all that. I, I not necessarily saying I'm agreeing with that, but I'm definitely saying I definitely think God is trying to get our attention. And then the day, the day, let's see, the earthquake hit on the fourth. The third is when the Statue of Liberty was struck by lightning. And the third also is when I think it was Taiwan. Was it Taiwan? Oh gosh, I forget now. I think it was Taiwan was hit with that seven point something earthquake. It was huge, huge. And when you see videos coming out of that, you're like, oh. so all of this happened in like sequence. Do, do I think it's coincidence? No, but I do want to say that I definitely think that God is trying to shake things up and get our attention. I'm not on, I'm not going to jump on these conspiracy theory bandwagons. I know the Bible enough to know that no man knows when Jesus is, if you want to call it the rapture us out of here. Um, no one knows, but he did say that he would give signs and he said most of the signs would be in the sky. He says, look up for your redemption draws, draws near. Um, he talks about the stars, he talks about the moon, he talks about, you know, going black and the moon turning to blood. You know, he talks about all of these things in the Bible, but I'm not going to, because I've had people ask me, I'm not going to sit here and be like, yes, April 8th, Jesus is coming for his peeps. <laughs> not going to say that. I'm just going to say that some of these things that are happening are a little odd, so I just feel like God is trying to shake things up and get our attention and be like, hey, hey, I'm real. Get right. <laughs> and that's where I'm going to leave it. So, yes, I'm fine. Or we're all fine. My family's okay. Um, we all texted each other immediately because we definitely felt it. It was really intense. 
Um, it was very scary. Um, I had to take my daughter to my mom's for the day so I can go to work. Um, she was not okay after because it was very, it was her very first earthquake. Um, and with all of this stuff on the internet, on the interwebs about the eclipse and all this stuff, has her a little bit in a panic, a little bit in a tizzy, but that's the tea. I spilled the tea for the um, earthquake, but we're fine, really, truly. I'm not shaking still or anything like that. Um, and I do appreciate everybody calling who who texted me and took the time to text me and, and um, find out if we're okay. I really do appreciate that. I love you, lovies. But um, okay, I'm gonna go. I don't wanna make this this this, this vlog all talk. <laughs> it's a very chatty vlog today, this this week. But um, I, I had lots of questions, so I just thought I would address it here. So that's the tea on the earthquake in Jersey. So I had an overnight um, delivery. I wanted to share this with you guys. I found these on Amazon. They're called Jordan's Skinny Syrups. Zero calories, zero sugar. I got salted caramel mo mocha, mocha, mocha. Yeah, <laughs> I just woke up. Salted caramel mocha. I also, I also ordered another one. It was called um, something pecan. I forget. It didn't come in this box, but it is supposed to come today. And I'm so glad they, they're they starting to do this 24-hour delivery because I ordered it last night. And now I get to try it this morning. So this is what I'm going to be putting in my coffee in the morning instead of sugar. People say they do honey, but I just don't know if I could put honey in my coffee. I have no problem putting honey in tea, but honey in my coffee? I don't know. It's just weird. So I'm going to try this. It's not Skinny Girl. It's Jordan's Skinny Syrup. And these are much bigger than the Skinny Girls, too. So I'm going to try this and let you guys know. And then I also got a new bra, a new sports bra. Um, let me take it out of the package and I'll show it to you. What are those? It looks like it came with stickers. Hold on. First time in my life I ever got a sticker set with... Um, my bra <laughs> I do like these though you're worth it love yourself uh let's see what else thanks for your support with the bra <laughs> these are kind of cute so this bra is called uh Trucon. I got a 4x because as you guys probably know everything is made in China and I don't know about you guys but when I buy things like this I always size one to two sizes up because if I order a 3x more than likely I'm getting a two or a one does you know what I mean because everything's made in China and their stuff is really small so I sized up I hope I didn't size up too big these do go up to 6x oh wow that's pretty big that's a pretty big um I think it'll be okay though so I got the new, the kind that has the racer back for the summer. Um, these are really, the, I mean, it was a $40 bra. They're supposed to be really, really well made. It has built in, um, built in supports for your back. Um, they're supposed to be two in the front. Yep, yeah, right here around your cup. They do come with cups. There's a nice big cup in here and one on each side. So I'm hoping this is a really nice bra. I hope it fits well. I will tell you. I just hope I didn't size up too big. But I do know when you do get stuff like this off the internet, like, you know, especially off the internet, off of uh, Amazon, if you don't size up, you're more than likely going to be disappointed. Because in this, I probably would have gotten a 3X. So I only sized up one, but... Hopefully, hopefully these, watch, watch this be something that's pretty true to size. <laughs> Normally when I do this stuff, I'm always sorry when I buy true to size. Uh, when I think I'm getting true to size, I'm like, oh, I should have sized up one. But this looks like a really nice bra. It's really well made. Um, it's very thick. It, it, you know, like it was worth the $40 as long as it fits. So I just thought I'd share that with you guys real quick. Um, I woke up to this this morning on my 
porch and my daughter brought it up to me that I got my syrup for my coffee and I'll share with you if I like it or not and I'll let you know about the bra in a few. Okay, so I hope this isn't in too inappropriate. To me, it's no different than like a bathing suit. But this is the bra. It's actually a little bigger, you know, I have room. So I probably could have gotten this in a 3X. It, I would say it fits true to size. Um, it has nice padding for your cups. Um, it has slits on the side where you could take the padding out if you so wish. Um, it has a nice band underneath. Kind of rolls up a little underneath, but for me, this works great. I really like it. Like I said, it's kind of big, but I like that because probably after a wash, I'll be glad that I bought a 4X. But I would say these run pretty true to size. This is the back. I got a racer back for the summer because my other bra goes from shoulder to shoulder and I always sweat back there when I walk and stuff. So I thought that'd be nice, but I am very happy with this bra. See how the pads, like look. See how that pad kind of folded up there? It has a slit right here where you can go in and adjust the pads. You can pull them out, whatever you want to do. But I really like it. I think it was $34, $35. I don't think that's too bad for a plus size bra that's made super well. I know I'm going to get a couple years wear out of this. Um, has lots of support in it and such very comfortable so if you're a plus size person looking for a really good bra I do highly recommend this I am very satisfied very happy with it I think this is gonna be a great bra for the summer so that makes me excited to be able to buy something off the internet and it fit well not be too small not be too big not be able to get it over my head all struggles that plus size people go through, that worry, that anxiousness of, <sighs> I can't see it, I can't feel it, is it really gonna fit, am I gonna spend this money and be disappointed? This, I was not, so I will link it down below. So just in case I forgot to tell you, good morning. <laughs> okay, here it is, the cup of coffee with my brand new syrup. It smells really good. I think my, this is my, going to, this is my thoughts. I think the first initial sip is going to be really, really good, I think. The test is, does it have an aftertaste? Oh, it's good. I think I need another one. <laughs> I hate when people do that when they taste things and here I just did it okay it's really really good I used two teaspoons I think I only need one because it is it's actually very strong it has a very slight and when I say slight because that's the one thing I hate about like sugar loaves stevia I hate that aftertaste, that ugh, that leaves in your mouth. It has a little tea, I mean like very minimal, very minimal aftertaste. I definitely think I'm gonna be able to do these. I will link these down below. I'm really picky about linking stuff and all that stuff. I actually really, really like this the and i think the more i drink this on a daily basis with my morning coffee the more that i mean it's so slight it's hardly noticeable it's just a little teeny tiny of like that little aftertaste that like sugar-free things leave in your mouth it's not hardly noticeable it's not unbearable it doesn't discourage you from drinking it i just think i only needed one spoonful of it because it's very strong 
And I, I should have known that because it's a syrup, so it's very concentrated. So if you like a strong caramel flavor, do two teaspoons. If you like to taste more of your coffee and less of the flavor, then I would do one. But this is actually very good. I'm actually very excited that I can actually have sugar-free coffee. It, it actually tastes good and be yummy. That's exciting. And I like my bra. This video is not sponsored. <laughs> no, it's not sponsored. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm really excited. I get to drink coffee and it not be totally disgusting with no sugar. Because that I'm really, I'm guys, I'm really trying to work on me and I'm really trying to get off sugar. I'm going to try to get off sugar for the next two weeks and then I'm going to move on to flour, <laughs> like gluten-free things. I'm doing one thing at a time to better myself. And I am super happy that I can do this. This is actually very good. Mm -hmm. I'll link it down below.